Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm here to talk to you about five ways a high school year abroad, an exchange year, changed my life and continues to change my life. It is now five years later and I still feel the effects of my exchange year every day of my life. When I was 15, I left my comfortable life in the United States to live in Denmark for a year alone with a, with a host family, away from all of my friends and family, everything I was familiar with. As you can imagine, it was a big decision. A lot of my family didn't want me to go, but it was incredible and I wouldn't change a thing. So the first thing is, I think one of the biggest impacts that kind of threads its way throughout all of these other things I'm gonna mention as well. Um, and that is my just worldview completely shifted. So I now have a much more international mindset and this comes not just from living in Denmark, but also the connections I made there, which I'm gonna talk about a little bit more, but I made some of the best friends of my life in Denmark from all over the world, the other exchange students. I learned so much from them. I learned so much about the world, about their countries, about different languages. If I learned a certain thing about a certain country, I can connect that to a person, a face. I mean, I've always had the sort of like armchair traveler, travel bug, wanderlust, but exchange really sort of showed me that it's possible to just go for it, you know? And what's more, I am now just comfortable living in another country. So I am living in Russia right now. I'm gonna be in Germany and Austria next semester. I, that seems normal to me. And I'm gonna jump off something I was just talking about. Number two is the friends I made there. I was saying I made some of the best friends of my life there and they were the other exchange students. I also had Danish friends, of course, but the people that I find myself staying in closest touch with are the other exchange students. I think that a lot of exchange students, people who have been on youth exchange, will say that the most important part or one of the very most important parts of their exchange was the other exchange students because they're there stuck in the same country as you. They just become kind of your your rock right and um there's this connection that you sort of maintain so i'm i'm here in russia right now one of my friends here lived in denmark with me and she's russian and we've connected and even though we didn't really talk a lot in uh denmark we had this sort of this sort of connection through through our shared experiences there and the amount that we miss it and um, we've become good friends and we've been meeting up every so often. I think I'm going to spend the holidays with her this year actually while I'm abroad. So the, the friends you make are just incredible. And I haven't seen some of my best friends in the world in four or five years, but I still feel like if I saw them tomorrow, I know that everything would be the same. And that has been proven in the cases where I've already seen my friends from Denmark. So that's something that's really important to me. Um, also means I have the couches to crash on all around the world, of course, but um, I think that's one of the most valuable parts of exchange, the connections you make with the other exchange students. Okay, number three, language. Living in Denmark really familiarized me with another language, and so this is something coming from an Anglophone country. There, we don't have the same exposure to a second language that a lot of other countries in the world do, where they're used to hearing English or um, whatever whatever other language is a common second language in the country. But in the US, I'm used to just hearing English and it just means that Danish was my first exposure really to a foreign language and I ended up learning it to fluency and that is a really big step. And I'm really a firm believer in the fact that knowing another language changes how your brain works. It changes, it, again, it changes a part of your worldview. And so Danish was a really important uh, language for me, even if it's not widely spoken and only has five, six million speakers, like, so what? It's still another language. And that also just sort of opened my mind to the experience of learning a language and the process and, and what works for me, what doesn't work for me. And so I've been able to apply that knowledge in learning German and Spanish and now Russian. And I'm going to continue to use this knowledge and actually Danish is still in my head I still when I'm 
uh, stumbling around for a word in another language, a lot of times the Danish word comes to my head, even though I haven't been speaking Danish on a regular basis in years. And it also gave me a job opportunity. So last summer I worked as a counselor at a camp where I taught Danish to kids, which is a language that it's hard to learn outside of Denmark. So it gave me that opportunity to learn a language that's less widely spoken, less accessible if you're not living in Denmark. Number four. So as I said, I left when I was 15 years old, which is on the young end for exchange students. I actually remember when I was applying, I was barred from a lot of countries because I was too young. A lot of times the limit is 16. Uh, a lot of exchange students are 17, 18, but I felt that I was uh, the right age. I was comfortable going for that. I've always been very independent and I felt ready to be out on my own. It really, it was my first step into the world as some sort of independent entity and so it really familiarized me with living on my own. I actually, when I got back, I couldn't imagine going back to a normal high school and and living at home again, um, so I went to a boarding school for two years and that was an incredible experience as well. I got to continue building my sort of international connections, international perspectives there because it was a very international boarding school and it was uh, I think very formative to, to be living on my own across the ocean at such a young age. And number five. So I think that something really, really important that I've gotten out of my exchange that I continue to use five years later is a level of comfort with not sticking to the status quo. Like I said, a lot of people didn't support my decision to live abroad when I was 15. Uh, I'm very, very lucky. I have a very supportive mother. This is crooked. I'm not in the same place. Whatever. Okay. So, I'm lucky that I had a very, very supportive mother. Other than her, I wasn't supported by a lot of people. Even my father really didn't want me to go. A lot of my mom's friends especially were like, like, oh, you're crazy letting her live abroad when she's 15. Going against all of those naysayers, those negative voices, uh, was something that I think was valuable for me. And I think it's something that kind of confirmed to me that I know myself better than anyone else, right? There's another aspect to this. So I was the odd American out in Denmark. So that meant that I was once again sort of not part of the majority. So that taught me to, to answer uncomfortable questions, to sort of be the odd one out. Um, and so there's, there's sort of a, a two-sided aspect to this. Abandoning things that I knew and my own culture, um, my own sort of identity at home, and then also kind of adopting a different identity on the other side of the world. So I don't know, I think it taught me to branch out kind of sort of in two different ways on the one hand leaving here and the other hand going there, which like of course you need both halves of that. Um, and it's a little bit hard to describe, but I hope I've done it justice. There's um, just a lot of a lot of independence beyond just living alone. It's the way that you interact with other people, both in your home country and in your host country. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons I'm so comfortable doing my own thing. So I think that there are a lot of aspects of my identity and my personality that can be clearly traced back to my experiences in Denmark as an exchange student at 15 years old. So if you're watching this as a prospective exchange student, go for it. It will change your life, I promise you. It will challenge you. It will force you to look at things differently. And it's, it's just valuable beyond words. And I'm talking about specifically high school exchange because I think there is something very valuable about branching out on your own when you're that young. College exchange, of course, I think is also very important. I'm doing it right now, but I'll, I'll make another video on the sort of differences that I've seen and sort of comparing and contrasting those. So yes, I encourage anyone and everyone young enough to go on exchange, do it. I would go on another one if I could in a heartbeat. And if you're another former exchange student reminiscing, tell me, do you feel the same? Um, let me know in the comments what you think about this. Thank you so much for watching. I would be so, so grateful if you would subscribe. I'm going to keep making videos 
about my experiences abroad, about uh, travel, language, youth travel. So hit the like, hit the subscribe. Thank you so, so much. And I'll see you next time.